Hey guys, um, yeah, we are in our engine department. So we have here another LFX engine. We have their 2.5 engine. Um, but what we're mainly talking about is BP engine. Like you, you saw, we're rebuilding the LFX. We're rebuilding the, uh, we rebuilt the Ferrari engine. So we, we do a lot of builds over here and special performance builds. We do not bore hone all that stuff we just we have a cool workshop over let's say 60 kilometers away from us or 50 40 i didn't really know it's it's not that far and we will make a video over there we just talk to them the guys they are really cool guys they're just like mainly basic old school engine mechanics like we talked about it and here's our engine guy building up the engine so here's where all the magic to the engine happens and yeah we have a bp engine here bought out to 84 millimeter uh, we were asking in one video which pistons do you use in your forged builds, special for, for cars which are mainly street used, or let's say 50-50, we go for Supertech pistons. They have some points where we just could talk about it, which I do not like on the pistons, but at the end of, at the, end of the day they are working. And how they work, it's, it's absolutely fine. Um, and yeah, we were just well, this gassing about pistons about two years ago and I would say, okay, do you, do you want to invest in Marler pistons? They wanted to have invest about 50k or so. And then I said, no, okay, we, we just keep the super tech ones because they work. Uh, we had all a lot of problems back in the days with oil consumption on Wiseco and JE pistons. And mainly I thought, okay, this is more a, a build problem, but I, I think now it, it, this is more a problem of the piston itself. So, um, and with the, with the, with the super tax ones, they really work fine. So we just, we see also oil consumption, but this is all the time, something around zero to 400 mils and 1000 kilometers, which is absolutely okay in my eyes, especially when you, when you, when you, uh, boost the car and you use it hardly. So, um, yeah, we want to talk about how to build up an engine. Um, that will come in the next video, which where I will be not in person in the video. Um, this is like something I will talk what we are doing and, and what Gunther, who is making the engines, um, or building the engines, he's not making them, um, where we will talk about all that steps and, and what we are doing and why we're doing it. But this is like basically we want to talk about how we build up and set up a BP engine that it's that it can do 500 horsepower at the end of the day. So we bore them out to 84 mil. Uh, so uh, we use the Supertech pistons. So we have them here in the in the package. So we are running Wise Core rings. Um, these are the pistons. Look like that, so really nice. We run nine to one compression ratio all the time. Um, this is funny because this is just a bit different to a road tracks build like you would normally do it. So this customer runs a, um, a blueprinted road tracks from Supercharger Co UK. Um, and it's doing a massive way of boost and torque and we will talk about that when we get the engine back into the car, we will dyno it. We'll just show you some stuff, uh, or we will show you the dyno sheet because this thing is fast and this thing is also is making crazy amount of power for a BP with a road tracks. I can tell you there is a fat three in front. Um, and yeah, we just had problems with hat lift. We had problems with, um, at the last point, we just we had hat lift, so this was one of the problems. So I said, okay, um, Ingo is a is a customer of the car, he's a good friend of the company. I said, okay, we just have to do it again, and um, this is more about a warranty part. I said, okay, um, at the first day we just wanted to go 280 horsepower, so we went out to a pretty big bore, 85, 85.5 mil. Um, back in the days, we did I like that, and with the road tracks, everything was good. But now. It's like always, you have 280 horsepower, you want 300, you want 320, you want 330, you want 340, you want 350, you want 360. So it's always more power, more power, more power. And then we said, okay, the 85.5 mil pistons will not do it anymore. And um, yeah, we just took it again out and making a new one. 
We have the Athena head gasket, like you can see it here. Um, this is the O-ring cut, which I really recommend for every BP build on the world or B6 build on the world when it's boosted. Road tracks, supercharger, uh, turbocharger, whatever. Use that. That's the way you will not have hat lift problems. I know Derek Rockwell in the States, they got so many problems with hat lift. With, they made liners into the block and whatever. Everything was not working. We did all, all that stages also here in the company and this is the way to go. Go for our Athena hat gasket with the cut rings and you're absolutely good to go. You can, we do these ones up to 2.3 bar of boost on race cars, 550 horsepower, no hat lift problems. So yeah, let's talk about the bottom of the engine. We use um, 0 one to 0 0.5 crankshafts because in my eyes they are the, the strongest ones. Um, we use on the build up to 350 horsepower the stock um, Let's turn it a bit. This is more easy for me. Um, we use the stock main, the mains. Um, after 350 horsepower, we recommend to go for billet ones, because when you uh, we saw already cracking um, mains, especially on the track cars, and um, yeah, it's like. Well, I would recommend go for before be after 350, go for billets. Uh, when you want to track it hardly, uh, when you do it sometimes on track, you can go also uh, to 400 with the with the stock ones. But then they are really at the end of the power end of the day. Um, yeah. So uh, this engine block now will it's it's just dropped in. Uh, we did some measurements. Now we remove the OEM bolts and uh, drop ARP bolts into it. Um, I think. I do know why now these are in, but I, I'm pretty sure there's something about measurements because what we do also, we all the time measure the main part of the engine down here. So the, the main main holes of the crankshaft. I do not really know the word in English, sorry for that. Um, yeah, so we just, we all the time measure them if they are round and even if they are round with the ARP stats in there. So you just, I would also recommend to do that special on the MZR engine, so the, the, the later Duratec ones, so the aluminium ones, and also like the, the V6 ones, you really have to measure them because normally you just have to line bore them again and hone them again um, because they're not round. But we saw this problem also sometimes on the BP engines. So, uh, again, um, yeah, go for billets when you are beyond 350 on track or um, street, I would say, is go 400 and then go for billets use the ARP ones, the normal ones down here. We are using all the time boundary stage two pumps. Absolutely perfect. Cheat out or greeting goes out to Travis in the States. Um, and they just work perfectly. We're using stock water pump. Uh, we're using a Conti um, plus timing belt. They are stronger in my eyes than original ones because they have more uh, metallic, um, uh, they have more metal liners in the in the belt, but they're also making noises. So you just hear them a little bit of whining sometimes. So this is, be sure on that. So, because they are really, really strong. Um, yeah, then we just drop the SuperTac pistons into it. We run K1 rods up to 400 horsepower. When we are going beyond 400 horsepower, we are using still K1 rods, but we are changing the screws. We are going from ARP 2000 to one harder. I, I do not have the uh, the number just uh, in, in mind, sorry for that, but probably we can attach it to the video, otherwise we'll just talk about another, when we just, when we do the assemble video and uh, I will just talk about it. Then we're just dropping ARP head starts to it. Um, 280, 300 horsepower, use normal ARP ones, 300, 360, use the Chrysler ones, which are called in our shop upgrade uh, ARP ones, and then we have Everything beyond 400, we have our special one, a special made 625 plus custom aged hat bolts from ARP, and uh, with this you are good to go 550 horsepower. And yeah, and this is basically the engine, so it's it's not really lots of magic to it, and uh, use good materials and you're good to go. So um, talk about the hat, so which is pretty interesting for one, uh, yeah, for some guys. Um, we have. 
This is a BP4 W hat, so from a 98 to 2000 MX5 MB. Um, we are running here a special cam made for a supercharged uh, car, so um, it got a little bit more lift on the intake side, less lift on the exo side that we keep the pressure into the engine. And um, we are running stiffer springs. These ones are super tax because they were in there. Um, and yeah, we run the OEM cam follower. We run, like mentioned, custom made CAD cam cams. And yeah, big thing, like always, check the valve pressure. So the valve seat pressure, we just have a special tool for that. We measure them always in, see if everything is good. And then we shim them there. We want to have them or machine everything to the point where we have to have it because otherwise you will have massive worn out on the intake valves, just to be sure on that. And as always, we have hardened intake valves. You can see in our shop, they're with the right seat pressure, with the right spring and the right intake valve, you're absolutely perfect to go and you will have no problems at all uh, with intake wall or we are out. And special, talk to your engine guy who is making your hat if you're not doing it by yourself. Um, they should not grind or cut the valve part down there. I'll just show you a valve, I'll probably have one here. So, so they, they, they should not, this is like worn out, but they should not cut this part because it's not hardened through. BP valves and B6 valves are not hardened through. So what we do, we just take them new when they are worn out, just drop them in and do that old school, just grind them back in. I told that Craig Peters back in the day, he had also worn out um, intake valves and said just do it like this and you're just good to go and I think he's he's pretty solid he's also I think he also runs now the Athena head gasket so um, yeah this is actually the the way to to make a, um, a stable BP or B6 engine so um, yeah we will talk about another engine project 2.5 uh, next week and um, yeah so we will also film the whole building up part of the engine and then I just can talk in another sequence about uh, how we do this or this or this so um, yeah like you can ask me any questions about engines but um, like mentioned B6 BP LF L3 L5 PE like the Skyactiv's engines are not that in but I would say in these engines are really know what I'm doing and um, know how to help myself so if you have any questions regarding this ones or F40 engines um, yeah just give me a shoot out and drop it in the comments so uh, see you in the next longer video about engines bye